Did you know that the first St. Patrick's Day parade was held in 1601, not in Ireland, but in America? Hello and welcome to World History Encyclopedia. My name is Kelly and today we're going to answer the questions, what is St. Patrick's Day? Who was St. Patrick and why do we celebrate him? Don't forget the easiest way to support us is by giving this video a like and subscribing to our channel so you don't miss out on any new uploads. St. Patrick's Day is a celebration on March 17th, commemorating the death of St. Patrick, who was the patron saint of Ireland, which is very interesting since he was born neither a Christian nor an Irishman. Patrick was known as Patricius in his writings, and he was born in Britain as a Roman citizen in the 5th century CE. But when he was 16 years old, he was kidnapped by pirates and sold into slavery in Ireland. In Ireland, Patrick was sold to a local chieftain and worked for six years in near isolation, herding the flocks in minimal clothing, no matter the weather. Although before he was taken to Ireland, he didn't believe in God and he found priests foolish, his time as a slave made his belief and reliance on God grow stronger by the day. One night he received a message in a dream that his hard work will be rewarded and that he is going home on a ship that is ready for him. He headed to the docks and three days later, he arrived back on the shores of Britain. He was reunited with his family, but he was no longer a carefree Roman teenager. He had another vision to return to Ireland but before he did, he studied for many years in Gaul and became an ordained bishop. Patrick returned to Ireland, but was not welcomed there at all. Most of Ireland followed Celtic pagan traditions and people were hostile to him, so he quickly moved north. Not only did Patrick know the Irish language from his time as a slave, but he was good at sharing the Christian beliefs in a way that the Irish would understand. The most famous story is how Patrick used the three leaves of a shamrock to explain the concept of the Holy Trinity. He was also attributed to being the person to drive all the snakes out of Ireland, although there isn't any record of there being snakes there in the first place. Patrick wasn't the first Christian missionary in Ireland and didn't single-handedly bring Christianity to the island, but he certainly did popularize it among the people. Patrick founded churches, monasteries, and Christian communities, and wrote his Confessions, which is how we know what we do about his early life and work, and how he was responsible for Christianizing the people of Ireland and their myths. For example, the nature goddess Brigitta became the demure Saint Bridget, and the spirits of the land which were formerly respected or worshipped became demonic entities. The legend around Patrick grew, and as the patron saint of Ireland, St. Patrick's Day is celebrated on the day of his death. The celebration of St. Patrick's Day has been a holiday since the early 1600s in America, and although it started small as a feast day, it has turned into a larger secular holiday of general Irish tradition. It only became a big deal in America in the 19th century because of the Irish immigration and was actually a much larger celebration in America before it was in Ireland. In Ireland today, the holiday is focused on celebrating general Irish culture and engaging tourism. Do you celebrate St. Patrick's Day? If so, how do you celebrate it? Let us know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any new uploads. This video was brought to you by World History Encyclopedia. For more great articles and interactive content, head to our website via the link below. World History Encyclopedia is a not-for-profit organization. If you'd like to support our work, you can hit the link in the top corner of the screen, or you can visit the support link down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon with another video.